Hey, what's going on, everyone? Um, kind of start this a little early. Set this up. This is probably gonna be none longer than like a 30 to 40 minute show today. So, because we had Miguel Estrada on the show before, so we're just trying to make it up from what happened last time. So let me just get things set up here. from the call and probably right about now if y'all in Chicago area the SmackDown brand is in Chicago at the Allstate Arena so that's going on right about now so probably just started so check that out Okay, that was just him, so he'll be with us in a few minutes. Hey, what's going on? Nothing. Actually, nothing. Just the same old, same old, I take it. Yeah, I'm at home watching practice on the same old weekend. That's cool. Um, so, how was your holiday? Uh, it was alright. My family was out. My brother's girlfriend were there. It was pretty good. Spent time with the family. Enjoy myself, so can't complain. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we had you on the show last time, and it was kind of a little bit staticky, but it seems like right now it's actually better. <laughs> yeah, I hear you pretty clearly. So, which is a good thing. Um, you mentioned at the last interview about a federation you're gonna have, so. For the people that didn't catch that, explain more about it. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, uh, starting my own federation because I just got tired of both. You know, some of the local fed stuff they just go and do this myself. Uh, I went to Minnesota and bought a, uh, 18 foot ring for 750 bucks. They, they actually posted it as a 16 foot ring. But when I got there, I realized it was bigger. But we didn't tell the guy that it was, it was a bigger ring because he would have wanted more. Put it in a truck and get the hell out of there. <laughs> so, um, I got it right before winter, so we could have set it up. I actually met um, Dave and Chris in this, the very next day after I bought it for him. But now I was supposed to do business with him, but shook it out of hand and he went with me. He went back to working with Jeff Briggs and my right. and I was just sitting in the garage waiting for uh, spring to come along. But uh, yeah, in spring, um, those of you who are listening, if you know anybody that wants to be a wrestler, not a brain or is a wrestler, and just wants to wrestle for a new bench, come hit me up. I'm uh, starting a new thing on uh, me and a uh, few of my buddies, uh, also a couple of people from Chicago. Uh, one, one is, there's uh, a couple of other people I just talked to yesterday that, that want to join. I, uh, you know, before this thing even getting started, it seems like it's getting a pretty good start. I mean, I, I seriously, it's like I already got a good roster on my hands. Huh. Uh, there's 
on your roster so far? Um, so my buddy Paul from work, uh, he actually um, wrestled in uh, a couple famous people. He uh, he's wrestled Chris Jericho. He's wrestled uh, um, Chris Wood Daniels. Um, he does a couple people. He actually he's second string friends with uh, CM Punk. Used to be friends with CM Punk. Uh, so I trust that he knows what he's talking about. Uh, when I first started out in business in NSW, and a bunch of guys from there coming over as just Daniel Preach and uh, a few other people. I got a couple new guys that like, always wanted to wrestle and never have. They're going to come in and try their luck. Um, the guys came up from Chicago, wanted to talk, and I'm just interested. So I locked down a roster of 10, 15 people so far. I'm just definitely going to try out the team who is actually going to be on the roster because I can't let some new guys come in there jumping around and breaking their necks and shit and hoping that they want to do shows and it's just not going to happen. So. Right, right. And I'm stuck. I was open for new people. Right, because I know you're probably going to have like a training for that. So, like, oh, yeah. when is that going to start? Uh, whenever the weather gets better. It's normally, you know, like March or April. So whenever, you know, March 8th or May or something like that, um, I'm hoping my guy Prodigy or Keith Larson will train some of my guys. That was Jack's thing, but he's just to the point, so if anything, I can train people on, on basics, but I'm hoping one of those will come down and teach my guys more than what I can teach them. Oh, okay. So, um, well, then again, again, like how much experience you had like wrestling? Uh, four years. Started when I was 18 and I'm 22 now. Four years. I came in thinking, probably just like any 18 year old, thinking I'm the shit, I'm Superman, I'm not going to get hurt. Right. No, I got this damn tag. Uh, it was farther from the truth. And uh, those who are listening that think you're all that, never going to get hurt and you're bigger than the business, need to leave your ego at the door. Which is I've learned myself. You're going to get hurt. People that have been wrestling for years that are going to be in your place. So I have four years' experience. I'm still learning, and uh, I still won 16. Plus, it's only been okay, but yeah, four years. So cool. Pretty good for a major injury or something like that. I've wrestled for starting locally against Noble, but I can't get anything. I've wrestled for almost quite a few sets around uh, Milwaukee. Okay, um, I think, like, earlier, like, the last interview, I know you mentioned a few of them, but, um, what was one of the, um, fans that you had wrestled for that you had liked it the most at the time? That I wrestled for the most? That you liked the most. Oh, um, that's my most I would have to say, when I was, when I started with NSW, I was one of the main guys in there, and uh, it was pretty fun while it lasted for Fusion. Uh, even though you know I'm still on a losing streak with Fusion, but every time I go work over there, I can talk some other new stuff. And, uh, it's just fun working with those guys, Prodigy and Spade and Big Stick and Chaos. And I, I think I have a lot of fun with uh, with Fusion Pro Wrestling. Okay. Um, do you think you're ever gonna be back at Fusion? Do you think you're going to be back in Fusion in the near future? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be doing the show with them next month on the 8th. I have oh, okay. Party. You will be on that show. Yeah, I uh, have a small spot in the Royal Rumble. Okay, so yeah, you will be in the Battle Royal. Yeah, Battle Royal. I'm hoping we'll win, but uh, I'll be in the Battle Royal. Uh, you never know. Well, if you had the chance, if you did win. I did win. I don't know. I don't know what I just You never know. Um, yep. Have you had a name for your federation yet? Because I know, like, earlier in the week, you was talking about it earlier, just coming up with an idea. So, did the idea yeah. caught in? Uh, I actually thought it was so I think I sent you a message, too. I, I yeah, you did. Everybody asked me. I, <laughs> I was asking everybody, you know, hey, having a hard time figuring out a name for my fed. Anybody got good ideas? Some people were throwing names in there. And, um, a few names that were thrown in the head, I already had me. I already seen some of it. A Brandon, or a Brent Murdoch, from Larry Zoo, I threw me a good name. Um, ICSW with the independent stars are up in the back of my head. She has good, and you can get out of it. So I think 
shows will be running like spring and summer long. So kind of like a summer uh, series, it, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, this guy know or if I can come yeah. up with something I'll let you know <laughs> yeah because I can think of a very few but I will get back to you on that because I have an idea on a few um, arenas around here so I will let you know with that so, that would be great yeah so I'll let you know um for the people that didn't caught the last interview um what titles are you going to have for your upcoming event? Um, I, I have two as of now, um, but I'm trying to get a hold of one. I get another one. I'm trying to get three. But the fact that I am going to do the one you are going to be in our title, uh, I'm going to the uh, old version TNA next division championship, the one we were associated with NWA. And I'm um, just trying to get just one more. Um, I'm going to have my own name as the X Division. It's going to be like the Extreme Championship. I would have it there with Big Red X on it. So it makes sense. Yeah, Intercontinental is going to be used as the Independent Championship. And then if I get a, a Heavyweight or a World Championship, I'm going to be using it as the uh, Main Event Championship. Right, which I. Uh, uh, oh, go ahead. saying on that um since you do have a small roster you just said like you was going to bring like more belts in to get on more of a roster um yeah i was thinking that um this is a question like um if you can get like anybody to work in your bed who would it be just anybody um definitely uh, that that's just where um prodigy and jack Bates. Guys are awesome. DC Washington is good. Ken Cato, I think, is good. Uh, um, he's the guy. Basically, that we hit. I, mean, I was texting my buddy Paul earlier, and he asked me who would be my fed, and I told him, you know, I, I really want to fed with brand new faces. So I right. want anybody really fast fish or has any of those. I want to like fresh group of like guys. Those would be the guys, you know, probably 